What's up, y'all? I'm ecstatic. I'm hype. Happy E3 2021, everybody. So far, this has been the highlight of my uh, of my my weekend. Um, this announcement was awesome. Completely blew me away. Uh, I, unfortunately, the leak came first. Um, but aside from that, uh, the trailer looks gorgeous. The leak itself, the information, the, the the unveil, it all blew me away. I'm a huge fan of the first one. Okay, you see, I got the figures here. Got these. I was lucky enough to get these at E3 2019, and um, they were clearancing them for like two dollars. I, it's it's so good to see because for two reasons. One, I thought, well, first and foremost, the partnership. Okay, it's it's good to see the partnership continue with Ubisoft. David, uh, uh David uh, Soliani, the director, um, had said he had been wanting to do this since uh 2017 since the uh e3 unveil where he got all emotional and everything and um the fans reaction said uh he said the fans reaction kind of motivated him and pushed him into wanting to do the sequel immediately so i'm just stoked that it's happening um because uh like i said with ubisoft the partnership it's it's good to see first things first it's good to see the partnership continued um nintendo is is very you know has a wobbly relationship with a lot of third-party companies over time it's, it seems like it's coming back strong um, but Ubisoft and Nintendo seem to have been growing very close um, in the more recent years. And this is just another part uh, of, of that relationship. And it's good to see. Um, it looks amazing um, all around. Uh, uh, but more importantly, I'm just I'm happy it came back. Like I said, I got these at E3 at the Ubisoft booth clearance. They were so cheap. Um, you can get this game right now for $15. It's, it's just really weird to see a Mario game for under $20. It's something you don't typically see i was a little worried basically uh that this series was going to be a one and done nintendo's got a track record for doing you know kind of creative little games little niche markets uh that are that are awesome that are well received, good reviews um super mario rpg for example super nintendo days that just don't really get much uh after that you know they might spawn some successors i think you know paper mario eventually you know but uh you know, for the fans, you really want a sequel. So I'm glad a sequel has already been announced. It's, it's four years, you know, since the uh, part one was announced. But, um, yeah, this looks amazing. My only big concern um, is apparently there's a new, uh, there's complete redesigned combat system. Um, it's it's still going to be tactical, but it's going to be uh, real time, a little bit more real time with no grid. Uh, I, I think it's going to be within a range. Um, similar, but I, I think it's just going to be unlimited not limited by the tactical squares and stuff and the way they were talking like it's gonna push the uh push the envelope for for tactical games um i have faith in them they have uh they have delivered uh, a hell of an experience with the first one so this one looks really cool i'm i'm excited to see i love uh rabid rosalina she she has a whole attitude and mood about her that is that is, that is appealing so i i'm 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 stoked man um like i said it's good to see just this this series uh continue um he said it's not a direct sequel it's not a sequel it's just a new entry in the series so um always nice to see nintendo uh carrying on uh some of the, these newer series that they've created for the switch hopefully arms is next but um this right here is a is a beautiful start to e3 so uh hey everybody thanks for listening hit the follow like and all that if you want to i don't know but uh happy gaming enjoy the rest of e3 and uh i look forward to seeing you all in the future